In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Cade Cunningham and why he's actually going to be a fantastic player in year one in the NBA. There's a lot of analysts saying that he's not going to be very good. I 100% disagree, and this is why. Let's get down. Let's check out Cade Cunningham. And really quickly, if you want me to break down your shooting form, and you want me to give you some tips on how you can shoot the basketball better, make sure to go check out the link down in the description below. So first off, Cade Cunningham is actually a very good defender. A very good defender who can actually poke basketballs away and get open dunks. Now obviously this is Summer League and this player is not exactly the greatest of all time. However, we can see that he has his attention on the double team that he was getting. And because of that, Cade Cunningham was able to sneak in, poke that basketball away, and then he was able to take it to the other end of the court. Something else that really catches my eye is the fact that he really does take his time with his shot, he is nice and calm, and he goes up with his actual shooting form, even when he's got a defender in his face. So here, he actually gets that ball in transition, he takes one dribble, and then goes off his right foot, left right, and goes up for his shot regular shot nothing crazy now he may be actually too calm in some situations like this one where he gets his three-point shot blocked however he stays calm gets that ball back and he's able to hit a mid-range shot he doesn't have the fastest shooting form he also isn't exactly the fastest player but he's very calm and deliberate on what he wants to do so here he comes off of that screen hesitates for a second and looks at the rim that also freezes his defender slightly which allows him to blow by his defender slightly to be able to get that contact and go in for that layup that's the thing about Cade Cunningham. He really can take contact and still finish. Cade Cunningham is also a very smart player. Here, he sees that his defender goes underneath that screen and he pulls up for a three-point shot. If you're a player who can consistently hit the three-point shot and you notice that your player goes underneath that screen and there's no hedge man coming out to try and defend your shot, you need to then pull back for your shot really quick and go up for that three because you need to make that other team pay for their mistakes. Here he's also doing extremely well where he does that quick killer crossover through the legs towards that left side which then establishes a new top foot for him to attack. After that cross, he picks that ball up, keeps it close to his body because that first line defender right there, he is trying to reach in and trying to basically dislodge that ball. But because of that, he's able to keep that ball close. Remember, you should be able to still finish by taking only one dribble between that three and that layup and here we can see that one dribble off the cross and that's this gather right there remember we're allowed to gather step he then takes two steps keeping that ball close to his body and then he's able to finish you can easily do this as well as a player and what we can see here is when he takes that two steps keep that ball close to your body that will allow you to be able to not let the defender steal it here he's able to use what I call the chicken wing push off his defender and finish with an assist now this could closely almost be an offensive charge here we see him extend his arm when he does this chicken wing now when you're playing up against another physical player you may not get the that call however you want to keep your arm bent at at least a 90 degree so that it doesn't go past your knee or your toe so it doesn't look like an offensive foul and then you do almost like a veer step or a euro step back in the opposite direction as to where you were going before so that now you can finish at the rim however here he had a defender going up obviously trying to contest his layup he had a teammate here who he could then dish that pass off to for a layup or a dunk now if you really want to set your defender up into a screen this is how you do it from here what you do is a quick crossover away from that screen so of course here he does that in and out dribble and we can see that right here where he does that in and out and jabs towards his right foot that then gets his defender stuck on that screen he gets around that screen this time his defender chases around that screen so that now he can attack that rim but essentially he's essentially put Jalen Green the defender in jail so that now 
there's nothing Jalen Green can do really to get around him. You can do this quite easily. All you need to do is to get around that screen, take a quick step in towards the right side or towards where the screen was, and that can essentially get your defender on your back. You can go up for a jump shot now, or you can totally attack the rim. And here we can see him attacking the bigger, slower defender, and he's able to get that and one, or what could have been called an and one. Anytime a player reaches, like we see here, you need to pull back, either through your legs or behind the back, because then you'll have a wide open shot. His momentum is really trying to take him in that direction. So if you ever see a defender who tries to reach in, quickly try to cross over behind your back. Use your body as a defender, essentially, against that reaching in player. And then from there, you can pull up for a shot. And if you've got a pretty good three like Cade Cunningham, you can drain those as well. Remember to go check out my link down below where I can break down your shooting form and give you tips on how you can improve it, but also some drills and skills that you can incorporate into your game with your jump shot. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.